Hello and welcome to Get Fit Get Strong. So today we're going to go through some exercises to strengthen the body but with no equipment yet. So further down the line um, in other workouts that we do we'll use equipment yet. So things that we can think of round about the house that we can use to help our strength yeah. But today all we're going to use is our own bodies yeah. So simple exercises but very effective things that you can do to get stronger yeah. So we're going to do an A, a B and a C. And in each one, A, B and C, there's upper body exercises, lower body exercises and core body exercises, yep. Yeah? So let's just get started. Let's get warmed up, yep. Yeah? So to get warmed up, we do some shoulder rolls to start with, yep. Yeah? Good old shoulder rolls, that's it. And then come forwards, that's it. And then up and down, nice and loose to the arms, yep. Yeah? nice and loose. Try and make them as light as possible. That's it. And now we'll pivot up on the toes. Yep. And twist round. Okay, four more. Three, two, one. Now we're going to make a figure of eight on its side or an infinity. Someone once corrected me. Yep. So it's a figure of eight but it's on its side. And this gets the shoulders all nice and loose ready for our workout. Other side, other side, that's it, good. So you notice I'm not standing still, I'm still transferring the weight from one foot to the other. Let's put the two together, that's it, big figure of eight, four more, three more, two more, last time. Back to that arm swings, yeah? And this time, we should be getting a little bit higher with these, yeah? Make them into full circles. Going back, try and brush the ears. That's it, this will get the heart rate up too. And then go forward, yep. So what we're doing here, instead of blood and oxygen around the body, around the upper half mainly, to lubricate our joints, to get ready for action, to get ready for our workout, so we don't hurt ourselves. Okay, down by the sides. We're loosening off the waist. Stretching out the waist because we're going to be using a lot of stomach muscles here in this workout today. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last time. Let's get those leg muscles involved. Yep. So feet wider, toes turn slightly up when you reach down to the floor for me and up in a big V at the top. Yep. So this will start working the big muscle groups in our legs. We've got big muscles at the front called the quadriceps or quads as we generally call them, yep. Our backside muscles will start to work for us. Our glutes, our gluteus maximus in particular. Yeah, and hamstrings, that's the muscles running up the back of our legs. Okay, let's take this to the left and the right, yeah. So down, up on that toe, down. Up on that toe, one more to each side. That's it, okay. What we're going to do is some circles of the legs. Circle it out. Circle it out. It can be a hard one to get your balance, but practice makes perfect. That's it. Round we go. Round we go. Round we go. One more each side. That's it. Okay, I'm going to go on this side so you can see me. We're going to step back. Lunge back, sorry. That would be a step back. We're going to lunge back. Lunge back means we bend both knees. Come back in, same leg. Do two more from the raise the arms above. Step back, come in. Step back, come in. Other side, exactly the same. Try and lunge and not just step back because you'll work the muscles much harder. One more. Fantastic. So we move in different planes. We move forward and back, but we also move to the side. This leg stays straight. This leg bent. Come back to the center. Same on the other side. Center, side, center, side, center. Then we're going to do the forward lunge. Reach up the hands. Yeah, so as we reach out the arms and hands above our heads, the body has to work much harder because we've got to send the blood and oxygen up the way to our upper body as well as down the way to our legs. The body doesn't like that. It's under stress, yeah? But it gets our heart rates up and we're going to get fitter, much fitter. For it. One more each side, please. So that's all the different ways that the body moves. 
We did the reverse lunges. We moved back. We did the side lunges. Yep. And we did the front. Okay, we're just about there for the warm up, guys. I want you to kick out and try and touch your toe with your opposite hand. That's it. Give me four more. Three more. Two more. Last time. Okay, last part of the warm up. You're going to jog on the spot. When I say go, I want you to go as fast as you can for 10 seconds. Stay with me. Three, two, one, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Jog again. Just one more and we're completely done for the warm up. Get ready. Three, two, one, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Well done. Grab yourself some water. That's the blood and oxygen moving freely, uh, freely through the body now. We're all warm. All our joints are warmed up. We're all nice and loose and we're ready to get going. So grab your water, guys. So we should be all ready to go now. So like I mentioned in the warm up, this is gonna be broken into three different segments, A, B, and C. So let's get going with A. I've got three different exercises for you. One, primarily for the lower part of the body, one primarily for the upper part of the body, and one primarily for the core. So my first exercise for you are body weight squats. So they can be challenging, but if you're new to something like squats, yep, um, as I say, they can be challenging if you're new to squats. But if not, it could seem a little bit easy size. So what I'm going to offer you is a 4-4, four, four, and we call it a tempo, yeah? So a 4-4 four, four would be down for four counts and up for four counts, yeah? And the time under tension creates more work for our muscles, yeah? So the tempo work, yeah, how long we take to do something, going down and up adds load, it adds to the work for that muscle group, yep. So take feet or hip width apart, or slightly more, toes turn slightly up. Now I want you to try and keep the sole of your feet on the floor. I want you to be nice and tall, yep. So we stand nice and tall, we're not hunched over. Shoulders go back, let's try the squat, raising the arms forward and coming back up, yep. So that is what I would call a single squat, yep. I'm going to show you that from a side. I'm also looking for depth through the squat. I'm looking for your backside to be roughly parallel to the back of your knees. The body is nice and upright. Try and look straight ahead and not to the floor. Okay, so if you are new to squats, you maybe want to stick with that, yeah? So we're going to do it for time today, and you're going to do it for 30 seconds, yeah? So let's try the tempo before we actually go into our 30 seconds work. Shoulders back and down. It's down for four and up for four. So we go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Now I can make that even harder for you by holding at the bottom, what we call an isometric hold, and that really gives a lot of work for the legs. But that's for another workout, yeah? So you're either doing single squats, yeah? Or you're using that tempo with me. Get ready for your 30 seconds, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. Keep going. Try not to stop too long at the top. Remember if this gets too much, go to your singles. Now you're halfway. Are you getting nice and deep for me, yeah? No cheating with those half squats. Last 10 seconds, going down and going up. We'll fit in one more, one more squat and up and you're finished yeah so that's the squats the next exercise for the upper body are press ups yeah it's really easy to get this wrong yeah i'd really like you to join in with me in the simpler version today yeah and we can always build up i need to get you into what's called a plank position so at the moment i'm on my knees and on my hands and i'm bracing my tummy muscles imagine somebody's going to kick you in the tummy how would you go about it? Yeah, you brace them, you hold them, yeah? Hold that tight. Could you come up on the toes without lifting the bottom? So that's the question I need you to answer yourself. Are you able to get into that plank position? If your bottom's up there, 
yeah it's no use i need it there yeah so if it's there and you can press and come up fantastic but i really like you to join me just dropping your knees and we'll try the press up from here yeah so i'm not going to add any tempo yeah i'm not going to tell you how many to do i'm just going to give you 30 seconds yeah so it's down to the floor elbows go back if you need to sit back in between the repetitions to give yourself a break Try and not let the elbows flare out to the side. They're going to try and trap back with you and remember to raise. I know there's a lot to think about with this one, but let's have a go. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. Slow and steady wins the race. When we're thinking about strength, we think about time under tension as opposed to how many you can do in that 30 seconds. Yeah, the slower you go, yeah, the harder you'll work. We're over halfway now. Keep going if you can. If you need to stick in a rest, come back. Sit back in the heels and come back into the work. That's it. Down and up. Down and up. Think about technique. Go over how many you can do every time. Last time. Woo! So, pectoral muscles. That was a major muscle group we were used. We used a little bit of the shoulders, the deltoids. You definitely use some core muscles and really you could be using some glute muscles there too so predominantly an upper body exercise press ups yeah so our last one in a is a reverse crunch which are quite fun really um we're on our backs i want you to see if there's a space between you and the mat there is with me how do i get rid of that space i push my small of the back so i'm tilting the pelvis towards me and i really feel those abdominals Yep, tighten up now. Arms go out to the side. I want you to cross over your legs. I'm going to try and push up off the floor and a little flick, yeah? Push up off the floor, little flick, yeah? Remember, put your feet down, rest. In between, it's your 30 seconds. If you don't manage to do this all, uh, to keep going in 30 seconds, that's absolutely fine. Let's get ready. Three, two, one. Push up, flick out. Push up, flick out. Push up, flick up. Keep pushing the small of the bag into the floor. Remember to rest if you need to. That's halfway. If you can, keep going. 10 seconds to go. That's it. Keep it going if you can. And five, four, three, two, one. Pick yourself up. And that is A. Do we squat predominantly? Thigh muscles, quadriceps, hamstrings, back of the leg, and big glute muscles, yep. Then we went on to our press ups, working the front of these muscles here. The other muscles stay in place for us, but predominantly the pectoral muscles, the muscles in the front of our uh, chest. And then our abdominals, yep. But we used, as we pushed up off the floor, our lower abdominals there, yep. So that's A. Grab yourself a drink. If you want to repeat that, go and repeat it. If not, get ready for a B. Yeah, so let's grab some water and get ready for a B. Okay, guys, I have three exercises for you again. Here's the formula, the same as A. Lower body, upper body, core, yeah. So our upper body, we're gonna do reverse lunges, yeah. I'll go at the side for you. You're gonna bend the knee and then lift it up. Bend the knee lift it up now we're working the whole of the legs but in particular the back of the legs will get a good workout with this one yeah so the squats we did the front with this one uh, the whole of the legs will get a good workout but a little bit more on the back of the legs yeah uh, testing your balance too so it's down dip knee drive down dip knee drive yeah so we're going to do 15 seconds on each leg yeah so get ready to go. Three, two, one. Dip down, up. Dip down, drive up. That's it. Ten seconds to go. That's it. And last five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Quickly, other side. Same again. Now you'll probably have one side better than the other. Just do your best. Do your best. Ten seconds to go. And five, four, three, two, 
one well done so you should have felt that so when we're ever just on one leg that leg's got to do so much work on its own yeah so it's a leg that's left on the floor that's doing the majority of the work yeah that was our lower body exercise our upper body exercise now in a primarily worked muscles at the front of our body we're going to try and work the muscles at our back quite difficult to do without any load yeah but we're going to have a go of back extensions yeah so we're going to lie on your front arms up to the front what we're going to try and do is lift up bend the elbows pull back back beginning and down yeah now some of you will manage to lift up the legs at the same time pull back in down try and look towards the floor and here in here and the back of the shoulder yep muscles at the back of the body we're going to work get ready for your 30 seconds three two one go lift pull back back beginning down lift pull back reset down lift pull back reset down halfway Remember, it's your workout. If you need a rest, just rest. Rather you had good technique throughout these exercises than just going for it. That's it. Last five, four, three, two, one, and done. Well done. So that was our upper body exercise, predominantly for the upper back muscles. So these big muscles at back, latissimus dorsi. Uh, but we normally short them to lats, yeah? And the back, the posterior. So we've got all these muscles at the back of our body. And we call it a posterior chain, yeah? Uh, a series of muscles all the way down the back. So we're targeting the back of the shoulders there. We've got a little bit of core in it, I think, yeah? And the lats. Okay, so now to really concentrate on the stomach muscles and the core muscles, we're going to do a bicycle crunch. Now, again, I'm speaking about this time under tension. Take your time, yeah? It can always feel like you're doing better when you're more out of breath. But when it comes to getting stronger, yeah, you will get out of breath. But we're not thinking about speed. We're thinking about time under the tension to get the muscles working. So I want you to lie back. Again, push your back into the floor. Head goes down. Hands to your temples, so it's just above your ears, yeah? What I'm going to do is extend one leg and take the elbow to the knee and come back down to the floor. Elbow to opposite knee, back down. I don't mind if you put a little bit more speed in it, but try not to get yourself in a muddle with this one. But when you're lifting up, really concentrate and go over to the side. So we're not just lifting up, we're going over to the side. Okay, let's get ready to go. Remember, you need a rest, that's fine. Three, two, one, go. Lift up, twist, down. Lift up, twist, down. Lift up, twist, down. Lift up, twist, down. Halfway, lift up, twist, down. Lift, twist, down. Lift, twist, down. One more each side, lift, twist, down. Last time, lift, twist, down. Fantastic. Pick yourself up. So the abdominals in particular, yeah, we have these muscles that run into the, they're called obliques and they run at the sides there. So to recap, that was the reverse lunges for the lower half of the body. Then we had our back extensions uh, on our fronts uh, for upper body and then those bicycle kicks for our core. Okay, so that's B. Grab yourself a drink. If you want, go and repeat that. Have a wee practice, but we'll move on to C now. So now we've completed A and B, and possibly you've repeated those exercises for some extra work, we're on to C. So I spoke a little bit about how um, changing the tempo, the speed that we do something, um, can increase yeah, the workload. There's another way, and I talked about it briefly, about holding something in position. So we're gonna practice that. We're gonna do the lower half of the body, and you need to find a wall or something solid, yeah? So it might be that you're coming away from uh, seeing me, because you might have to, or you can position your laptop or your phone somewhere else. But you're looking for a hard surface, and I'm looking for you to get into a right angle. 
and we just hold that. Yep, we're going to hold that for 30 seconds. Take your hands on the hard surface, pick yourself up when you're finished. Again, if you need to, um, you can take yourself up or maybe don't go as low in this first one yet. Yeah? But I would imagine that most of you will manage 30 seconds yeah, of a wall squat. Okay, the shoulders are pinned back, we don't lean forward. Okay, get ready to go. Yes, yeah, so we'll find a hard surface, get yourself in a position, bring the shoulders back. Three, two, one. That right angle. Yeah, you can put your hands on your thighs if you want, but try not to lean forward. Keep that shoulders back. That's it. Oh, you should feel the burn. You should start on the legs. Yes, yeah, so predominantly for the quads, yet yeah, these quad muscles. It's a real thigh burner. It's halfway now, so you've just got 15 seconds to go. Hang in, guys. Try if you can to take it all the way. Here we go, 10 seconds to go. Keep going, they're maybe shaking by now, but we've only got five left. Last five, four, three, two, one. Hands on your hard surface. Up we come, shake it out, yeah. So, did you manage your 30 seconds? If not, it's something to aim for, but that should all be achievable, yeah, or even longer. Hey, let's do a minute next time, maybe. Right, the next one, upper body, yeah, without any resistance, without any weights, it's hard just to get something in for the body, uh, to, to work the upper body without any kind of weight. So, so we'll move on to what you can use around the home as weights maybe in the next one. But what we're gonna do is a pec deck, yeah? So opening and closing, I'll show you from the side. Open and closing. And this is gonna create some work for our shoulders, the chest and back muscles. Not too much work, but enough work. I mean, we've done quite a few exercises already. So we'll go for that pec deck. I'd like the arms to be close together in front of the body and open out nice and wide. So let's get ready to go. Three, two, one, go. Out and in, out and in. That's it. Talk about time under tension again. Slow and steady, yep. If you do these fast, maybe your heart rate goes up, but we won't be targeting the muscles we want to target. Last 10 seconds here. That's it, just about there. And five, four, three, two, one, well done, excellent. You get to go on the floor now for our core exercise. So in the reverse crunch, yeah, it was mainly the lower abdominals that we worked. In this, the, the bicycle crunch, it was mainly the size, the oblique. Now I'm going to target the upper abdominals, yeah? So what I want you to do is a simple sit up for me. Only the head and shoulders are going to come off the floor. Speak about it before, spoke about it before. We want to make sure there's no space between you and the mat. So now, if I try to get my hands through there, I can't, yeah? I've bent my knees, my feet are flat on the floor. This time I'm cradling my head in my hands but I'm not going to pull on my head. I'm just going to try and get the shoulders off the floor, push the smaller back into the floor, and back down. Try not to strain the neck, yeah? We're going to look ahead, slightly up that head, okay. So it will be up and down. I'm going to give you a count, a tempo, a two-two tempo. Up, up, down, down. Just to make sure you're not going too fast, okay. Remember, rest if you need to. Three, two, one, go up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Two up, two down. You're over halfway now. That's it. We'll put in a couple more. Last two repetitions. Up, up, down, down. And last time. And rest there. Well done. Pick yourself up. So that was C, and we did the wall squat, predominantly and hugely uh, challenging for the quad muscles. The pec deck, not so hard. I mean, you could build that up, especially with small weights. And then we um, targeted the upper abdominals there. Yeah. So you could go off and repeat that, the A, B, and C. You know, and just build on that, yeah? But that's a short, concise workout and an introduction to body weight strength, yeah? Okay, so let's grab some water and we'll get cooled down. Okay, guys, we've reached the cool down, yeah? So we're going to stretch off. And now that we've got our heart rates down, grab yourself a seat. 
and I'm going to do top to bottom, meaning I'm going to stretch up the upper portion of the body, core, and then the lower half. Yeah. So head stretch. Yeah. Head and neck. I take one hand across. Push onto the shoulder. Feel a stretch in the neck. And on the other side. Good. Into shoulders. One arm goes across. Other one comes and pulls it in. And this really stretches out the shoulder muscles for you. Your deltoids, in particular, anterior deltoids. That's the, the muscles at the front. And then the other side, across it goes. Pull in. Excellent. Okay, back muscles, upper back muscles. Head goes down. Push your hands out. Feel that back muscle stretch. Opposite to that, that pec that we work, pectoral muscles, hands on the floor. So it's stretch across the front of the chest. Fantastic. Then we'll take the hands by our sides. Into the sides now, into the waist. One arm goes up and over. Stretch out that side. And if you want to increase the stretch, you can maybe just hold it for a little bit longer than I am. And then the other side. Over it goes. Fantastic. All right, into the lower half of the body. We're going to take the legs out in front and then take one over the top of the other. We hug it in, we take a nice deep breath in. We breathe out and we twist around to the side, feel a stretch in that outer thigh and those glute muscles. And then the other side, one leg goes over the top. Nice deep breath in. Breathe out, twist round. Feel that stretch down the outside of the thighs and into the glutes. And then the feet go together. Nice deep breath in. Breath out. Push down. Well done. Okay, this quad muscles, yeah, the ones that we worked a lot. So you can go on your side, yeah, take the leg up. If you're very flexible, you may be able to lean back to feel that stretch. If not, on your side, pulling the foot. Try not to have it up in the air. Try and have the knees relatively together. Or say, if you can manage, lean back to feel that full stretch down the front of that pole. Fantastic. Got to make it even, twist around the other side. So either knees relatively together, Go in here, or if you can, on the floor, lean back. Feel it stretch through that thigh. Just a few more seconds here. Excellent. Now we're going to get ourselves onto our front. Yeah, to stretch off the back of the leg. We're up on the toes. We're taking the heels down. So this is from a yoga move called Down Dog. And this should stretch out nicely the back of your leg. Yeah, just a few more seconds. Don't worry if you're not flexible enough to get your heels to the floor. Just as long as you're pushing your heels down in the direction of the floor. Okay, bend your knees, walk yourself in towards your hands. Now slowly come up, hands on the thigh, the, the shins, the thighs. Come up, roll. Keep rolling those shoulders. Push all the way up the ceiling, make yourself nice and tall. We'll do two big circles to finish off. One, two, hands and feet together. Well done. Fantastic work, guys. Keep going with that and look out for some more workouts in the strength theme, but maybe we're adding some weights, some things that we could use as weights from around the home to make that work out harder. Okay, until the next time. Bye-bye.